As the sun rises over the Nebraska prairies, it's not unusual to find Chris Heltzer, a Nature Conservancy scientist, wandering about in search of interesting subjects to photograph. Why does he get up before the sun to take pictures? Let's let Chris tell us why. I think most people don't realize how diverse grassland ecosystems are. The biological diversity of just, just plant diversity in grasslands at a small scale is actually higher than the same plant diversity at the same scale in rainforests and other systems. So as a scientist, my job is really to use photography to show off that personality of prairies, to introduce people to the prairies they didn't know existed, and get them to form a relationship with those prairies that, that leads to them being supporters of conservation or even to do conservation work directly. Grasslands are important from a lot of different aspects. Some of them are, are very utilitarian, you know, they, they sequester carbon, they are important for food production, you know, the soils under grasslands are what produce most of the food in the world, uh, and they provide water filtration so they can clean water, they can do a lot of those things, and those are all really important, and from a, from a purely utilitarian standpoint, those are the things that, that sell conservation. But from an individual per person perspective, you don't sell somebody on the value of grasslands and they don't get out their checkbook to support grasslands because they sequester carbon. And so in order to talk to people about that, you've really got to convince them that there are individual species, that there are individual animals and plants living in grasslands that are important and interesting, and then talk about how those interact together. You've got to build a community and then you have to really give grasslands a personality. And I think that the photography that I do is mostly aimed at showing the personality of grasslands to people so that they see them as something more than just a flat monochromatic plane. You know, when I came to the Conservancy, the Conservancy was interested in my photography right away. I wasn't nearly the photographer that I am now, but I still had pictures that nobody else was taking. And so I started working with some of the staff here in Nebraska to, you know, show pictures of some of the properties, some of the, the little creatures that live there. And from there, it's really developed into a, a really important tool for the entire chapter and beyond. You know, everything from, we need photos for the newsletter. When we send out a newsletter or we have a website up about a particular property, Having a picture that shows that property in an interesting way is a lot different than somebody's snapshot as they were driving by one day. If we're going to tell donors that a place is important, they're not going to invest in a place because we have a halfway decent snapshot that somebody took. And so it became important really early to get pictures that were high quality, really interesting, made it look like a place you'd want to go visit. And that became an important marketing tool. And I found myself, when I, when I would go to a property for science purposes, I would get up early in the morning to go out and take pictures from a purely aesthetic point of view and then sort of flip the switch and become a scientist for the rest of the day and join in the conversations that were going on. I, I'd really encourage other scientists to look at how they can use photography to share the passion that they have for the things that they're studying. Photography can really broaden the audience. The general public isn't going to change their behavior or support conservation because of data nearly as much as they are because they see a picture of something that really catches their attention and they say, you know, that's, that's something that I can support, that's something I'm interested in doing.